Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if your command prompt screen or PowerShell window keeps popping up and just perhaps disappearing or showing up without questing that action, like it just happens to come up on your screen when you're doing something completely unrelated. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by just opening up the search menu, type in task, scheduler, best match, we're going back with task scheduler, go ahead and open that up. You want to go to the task scheduler library in here and see if you find any entries that happen to be corresponding around the same date and time that you're having this particular issue. And if there's any particular programs in here that might be causing the issue, you might just want to right click on it and then disable that task. So that again would be something I would recommend taking a look at first. Something else you might want to look into here as well, if you just want to completely disable the PowerShell, if you don't use it at all, if you just close out of here, you can disable the PowerShell feature by just opening up the search menu and type in Windows Features. Best match, you come back with Term Windows Features on or off. Go ahead and open that up. And then scroll down here. If you see Windows Power showing here, just go ahead and uncheck that and then select OK and give that a moment. And it says Windows completed the requested changes. Select Close. And now you want to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive user account control prompt, select Yes. And then into this command line window, type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash, scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to the forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that has concluded, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.